So the first step on non-duality is boundary. And boundary means feeling your whole body. Okay. And now along this path of boundary, feeling your whole body means feeling your quality of being. And you have to feel this. Right? So you have an emotional world. You're afraid. You're excited. You're all the rest. But be true to these. You need to be true to these by way of actually feeling them. We bypass them. That's why the guy is always over-talking and over-reaching and over-thinking because he doesn't know who he is. Because he, and to know yourself is not to have an idea of yourself. And this is part of the non-dual process. To know yourself is to be yourself. To be your, your legs. To be your feelings. To be your thoughts. Right? This is non-dual. Dual is, are my thoughts good enough? Do I look good enough? Do I feel good enough? Feel what you feel. Think what you think. Right? So you have to come home into your body for this. And insofar as you can be true to what you're feeling in an embodied way, now suddenly I have a bridge. I know my own feelings. I know my emotional world. And therefore, I can see your world of emotion. I can see you as a needing, feeling, frightened, confused, excited being. Without me just trying to overcorrect you or overreact to that or fix that or get attention from it, ah, I can attune to it. So in this process, we use this wording, relational attunement. So I attune to you at the emotional level, and this keeps me free from duality, reaching out. And so far as I can feel my emotional world, my emotional ground, I can feel your emotional ground. There is a common ground. We're humans. I can feel your emotional ground. And now I know how to calibrate spontaneously, sensitively, consciously, and critically, and powerfully, and creatively, and playfully. And now I see it at the awareness level. We're all aware, right? And all I want to do is get your awareness to be focused on me. All right? This is, this is success. This is getting laid. This is scoring. This is getting attention. But no, now I'm in my own body. My awareness is collected. And I can see that you're an aware being. And I can attune to, I can calibrate to your awareness. And in seeing that, I know what to do, when to do. And I see your way of seeing the world. And therefore, I'm not going to overreact. I'm not going to overdo something. I'm going to be patient. Because now I'm contained in my body as well. So we have now the emotional. We have the awareness, and the third one is the physical. And so far as I feel contained in my body, I know the physical reality of feeling. And this allows me to see and feel your physical reality of feeling. And I can't explain this. This, is, this must be practiced. We practice relational attunement at these three stages. Awareness, emotional, and physical. And when you are feeling, when you're embodied in the three levels being, then spontaneously you can attune to, calibrate to, and be with, be one with, including the timing of when to act, when to feel, when to pull the trigger, how to be, how to behave, how to arouse, how to joke, how to nudge, how to dance. We know, we come to learn all these things because we're being them. When we're being them, we can be one with the other. And until we're being them, we're only on the outside in duality, trying to bring the other in or trying to get close. Coming home means being embodied. And coming home means experiencing the common ground of your emotional world, your physical and awareness world. And insofar as you feel that, you have a non-dual experience. You have the possibility of a non-dual, a connected, unified experience with another. And the whole purpose being here, talking about this, is so when we have this attunement, then we have the possibility to create, to drive, to lead our relationships, and to begin to initiate, to initiate our relationships. And that's why we're here, because we're not living in our freest self. 
this practice softens the self and then creates the possibility to have to have lots of different selves lots of, to connect with many self to connect with many others others who are not far now but who are close not strangers know yourself and you will know others so these are the three components of being and by way of relational attunement which is to say feeling your own body feeling your own separate sense of being you have an entry point into the common ground of being so this is the mechanics of non-duality we don't have to get into a conversation about everything is just the same because that's just an idea we want to experience this beyond any notions any constructs that they themselves are separations any constructs are just separation so we want to experience it fundamentally and the only way to experience it fundamentally is to experience it in the non-thinking reality of our being at these three levels that's three important parts of this practice and then see what happens then in conversation see how creative attuned you are and I, and I loathe talking about it because just one moment of practice of relational attunement practice can be enough to change somebody's whole life ah I see I have that I had that one moment where I felt that it wasn't just bullshit or just an idea I felt myself absolutely and truly not thinking about myself and absolutely and truly feeling you and absolutely and truly feeling good absolutely and truly feeling that we could go somewhere feeling open to leading the situation to something new and, and that was what I was looking for that's what I came here for thank you so much for checking that out if you want to learn how to be great with people of all kinds and great with connecting with women check out our workshops we got lots coming up at travelbumcoaching.com. Check it out.